All right, so this video is going to be very similar to my very first one. Um, I just wanted to try to answer a few, well, A, I wanted to fix the audio a little bit. Um, by now I'm dubbing over so that it, hopefully it's quieter. Uh, if it's not, I can always change it on the back end. So um, my first video was a one take and it was um, it was long and I, I wanted to try to do it a little bit better this go around. And I also want to answer the question, um, is this still viable? And uh, the answer that's yes, and I'm going to show you. My first video is better for newer players because it, it does I do a better job with walking through the keys that are used. It is longer, but it's, it is better for new users, so I will link it here. And thank you for those that have liked and subscribed uh, to that other video, as well as my other content. And uh, again, this will be very similar, but uh, different in a few ways, just with some advanced features that I've kind of figured, or advanced tips that I've figured out since I've been playing. Um, yeah, but again, I don't want to drag it on. Here we go. Um, the goal of this is to salvage within a, a specific mission that's available in Star Citizen around Yella in the um, uh, Orison system. So the main focus is to start with Orison and then work your way over to Yella. And there's a particular personal mission, which means it is going to be a limited quantity. And so it is limited to, you know, one person taking on at a time and completing the mission. So if you find that others are doing it as well, um, it would be good to go ahead and make your way to a different server uh, or um, and to start a new one, or you can kind of do a different gameplay loop, however you want to go about it, but server hopping might be the best way to go about it if you find that it's, it's not available in your area, and then you hopefully can start up a good chain. Um, so my first big tip here is something I'm showing on screen now, which is um, not using the OM jump points. So um, when you're doing this mission, you're going to be jumping around Yella quite a bit, and so sometimes you're going to get lucky, and the jump point will be on the same side of Yella. On some occasions, it won't be. So um, what you're going to find is that there'll be a lot of pirates around salvaging right now, especially Yella, because it is so profitable. So um, you know, unfortunately, with pirate pirating, um, pirating you know sucks. It sucks to get pirated, um, but you're going to quickly find that the pirates are going to are going to stick around things that are lucrative. And right now, lucrative salvage is, is lucrative. So you're going to want to um, avoid those OM markers because that's where they're going to be waiting to jump you. So you want to go ahead, like I'm showing you in the video. Um, you want to use the planet as a jump point and jump there instead to get your salvage. It's going to pretty much work out to be the same way, uh, same time frame. Uh, it's just going to be safer for you to take that on. So, so yeah, so the first big tip here is to get away from using OM jump markers. I know it's something you're used to, but we want to stop doing it. It's just not going to help you in the long run. So let's get into the gameplay itself. Um, uh, you're going to need a vulture for this, as we talked a little bit about before, because uh, the goal is to salvage. I've tried some hand salvaging and it hasn't been super useful yet. Uh, I will do more testing with that, but so far uh, it hasn't been good. So I will try this mission, but so far again, the vulture is going to be the best way to go. And so if you got to get money to get to the vulture, as I talked about my vulture guide, I actually don't really recommend buying it um, with real money. So if you can get a part on a reclaimer crew or get someone to loan you, um, you know, the money necessary to buy it in game, that would be much more ideal than buying it out of the game. So you want to use the specific mission. You can see I've already picked it up here. I will pick it up again. We'll talk about that. But the goal is to do a, a cleanup. And the cleanup is either going to be for a Constellation, a Drama, um, a, a Connie, or for a Cuddy, a Cutlass Black. So that's going to be the key to this. And every time you complete this mission, you get 80k uh, AUC. So that's going to be a good way to make money in the Vulture. The goal isn't necessarily, again, to get the, the construction material and the recycling material, because there are some challenges with that. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it is good to just complete the mission, get the money, and move on to the next mission. And if you want to get stuff, the, the material, the construction material is probably the better way to go right now because people are buying and selling the recycle material and trading it um, because you don't need to do salvaging to actually get that. Uh, you can actually do it without getting the, uh, <clears throat> without actually doing any salvaging. You just buy it from a lower cost planet and then sell it somewhere else. So as you see here, I'm lining it up. Um, we'll talk about keys a little bit here. You want to use, uh, I have to use the right RW to pull up the fracking menu. And you can see here, it's a little dark or a little too bright for me. So I'll turn off the light here. But uh, the, the goal is to try to slowly, and I, I've turned down my speed for my max speed here uh, because I want to be able to get in pretty close to this uh, Connie and uh, quickly frack it as, as quick as possible. So you gotta kind of lower your thrust ability and then just kind of move in slightly. So here you're just gonna go back to the personal missions again. You're gonna go to the salvage tab and you're gonna look for either a Drake Cutlass, um, the Cuddy, or you're gonna look for the Connie. So um, once you find those two, you'll move on. Um, I do wanna note here, um, obviously the Connie has its own little ship. Um, you don't wanna frack that because that could give you a crime stat, uh, at least it has in the past. So I just try to avoid it. 
uh, it's it's kind of hard to do. You have to kind of go out of your way to do it. So just be mindful of that when you're um, doing fracking that you don't frack that as well or pick it up because um, uh, you don't want to get the materials off of that. So I've got my next mission. Um, I've got the jump point here. Let's make our way over. And luckily, again, uh, the OM marker piece here, I got lucky and I didn't have to go around the planet. <coughs> so I'm going to use that to my advantage. Just jump over to it and then get to it. Um, I turned my velocity back up there, so just go ahead and move that velocity back up, um, scrolly wheel or whatever you've got set. I've moved on to sticks, so I've, luckily I've got a throttle I can use for that. Um, watch your speed as you're coming in. Ideally, you don't want to overshoot it. Um, so here I am getting the ping. I actually got two pings here. You can see in my map up to the top there. I've got two white dots. So if you're in a reclaimer, that could be a gift because then you can find another target to reclaim. Uh, in this case, because it's a vulture and you have a limited space, you don't want to take on extra targets. You will and just really complete the mission. So here we are. I've got my um, my Cutlass Black that I want to go after. I'm going to come in quickly and see if I can get to fracking it. Um, <clears throat> there isn't any major secret here. It's really just getting into range, um, swapping, using, again, it's right alt and W. It does specify right alt. Um, I know that people have mentioned left alt. Maybe some people are changing the keybinds, but I think the default one is right uh, W to set to fracking mode. Uh, and then it's right S um, to, to do the disintegration and actually suck up the material. I'm not doing that a lot as much in this video because, again, um, the money's just not quite there. You actually can get... It's not quite 80k if you were to fill up the whole reclaimer. I'm not talking about the grid square. I'm talking about the whole thing back there. So if you're using, you know, two vehicles to fill up, you basically need uh, about 25 boxes back there to get close to that 80k. So that's how you can see just doing the missions just so much quicker than actually getting the construction material and then finding somewhere to sell it. So um, it's really just best to to hit um, M to pull up your uh, salvaging mode. I should have talked about that earlier. Sorry. Um, hit M to pull up your salvaging mode. You're going to then pull up with your um, Vulture. And then from there, you want to hit your right Alt and W. And then you can go ahead and begin to frack um, once it's in fracking mode. And then you can, um, in this case, I didn't turn in my speed. I do recommend you turn down your throttle so that you're not, you know, smashing into the ship. Um, that would not be ideal. So then once you've got your fracking going, you want to just kind of slowly move towards it. If you move in and out, you don't have to, uh, but if you move in and out, um, you can get that sweet spot and it'll actually be qu quicker to frack it. Um, again, if you don't feel comfortable with that, then don't do it. Just just stand there. Um, it will get done eventually. It's just it's quicker if you can um, go about kind of turning your throttle down and moving in slowly, just like I did here in this video. All right, so once you've done that, it's time to find the next mission. So again, you're gonna find the personal tab. And again, this is a first come first serve. So you may find that it's not here, but I've gotten pretty lucky in this video. And again, I'm able to chain it. And so the more you can chain, the better money you can actually make. Um, if you do have a problem getting the mission, bed logging is a good alternative. Um, you can go back in the vulture, it does have a bed. So you can go back there and you can pick up, um, you can go ahead and lay down and that'll allow you to server hop because obviously your server's probably got more people on it. Um, also doing it on off peak hours. So like if you're in the United States doing it on a US server, um, if you are in the US, you can pick an EU server actually, cause it would be, you know, nighttime for them. So it just kind of depends. Take a look at the time clock and or your, your, um, you know, global time and figure out the best time slot, um, that might be best for your server. I, I don't worry about it that much. I just stick with best and, and go with that server and then make the best of the situation. Um, and then here I'm just going to pick up the construction material. Again, you hit your right alt and S to go ahead and suck up the fracking material so that you can sell that CMC and the construction uh, material. Um, you do need to go to an admin office for that. That's uh, going to be the best way to go about selling that. So luckily there's more admin offices, it seems like, than the regular offices, the regular TDDs. Um, and again, it is easier to sell that construction material because um, right now, it's uh, recycling is a hot commodity and people are like traders are just selling it. So it's all, it's, it's hard to find a selling spot because there'll be high inventory at some of the big plants like Orison and you just can't sell it. You're just stuck with it. So um, luckily with the vulture, it has a smaller supply, so it's, it's harder to get stuck with it, but it is possible. So here I've moved back to the back. Um, when you're going down the ladder, back down it or go um, sideways through it. That way you don't have to fall through uh, because if you're taking the ladder, sometimes there's a chance that you can fall through the ladder and the actual vulture and end up in space. So again, I, I don't want to chain this mission too terribly much. I, I just want to make this a, a fairly quick video. Um, I, I, I did it more in my original video. In my original video, I did about half a million and just like, I almost could do like a million an hour. Almost. It was, I mean, I made a crazy amount of money, um, just in the video alone. And in this one, I've already made, uh, I've already completed this mission 
maybe three times. So, I mean, that alone is 24, so almost a quarter million. So it, it is pretty good money to just complete these missions. Assume, again, assuming you can chain them back and back to back to back. If you can't, then feel free to lie down in the bed and server hop. That's going to be the best way to go about finding a different server. If you're just finding it's just too dang busy where you're currently at, then server hop to a different spot and you will be in much better shape. And um, yeah, so with these boxes, you just want to be mindful. Um, there is a particular grid that's available for 12 boxes. Um, it's obviously better to, to put more in there. So putting more boxes in there is good. Additionally, if you really want to max it, you can also f refill the um, your uh, your uh, deposit box here, like your depot, with um, with more uh, CMC. If you like, maybe you're finished for the day, right? And you want to log off. Well, right before you do that, maybe you want to pick up the construction material and try to fill with as much material as possible, because once you land, you can actually still work with that material. So uh, try to take as much of that material as you can. Um, the more you can carry, the better. So here I have a little issues with the server, and so the boxes are kind of moving about. But all in all, um, the end goal here is to uh, work these boxes and then sell them uh, later. But prior doing the mission, if you can do a good a chain of them, that's going to make you good money. Uh, the end goal here is to get to a reclaimer. That would be my recommendation. You you want to get that reclaimer because it just makes so much more money. Just for a comparison's sake, um, completing the mission is not the best way to actually make money in a reclaimer because if you look at the hammerhead uh, cleanup mission, that mission can be done by a reclaimer and each hammerhead's worth about approximately three million. It kind of depends upon how much material you get out of it, but we're actually making more money from the material in that mission instead of just completing it. And so making the extra quarter million on that is just really icing on the top. So the fact that they give you money for that mission and you get almost three million per um, hammerhead, it's just a lot. So it's it's really good money for that particular um, income. And I have a separate mission or I have a separate guide on that particular mission and the reclaimer. So free to feel free to watch that if you do get a chance to make enough money to get to it. Um, it, like I said, it's it's really good money. It's way money, way better money than actually this is. But this is a good start, right? If you can get a vulture and do this mission, it's a good way to make money. And um, yeah, I, I think um, so. As far as recommendations on where to sell, uh, I don't typically go to Orison just because it's a pretty popular spot. Um, I typically go out of my way. Um, Microtech's a little too far for the vulture, so sometimes I'll go to Arc. Um, Orson's so good. Um, I had some challenges. I, I had problem with L5. I actually couldn't go there, Crusader L5. So L5 systems have admin centers. If you need to use one of the different L5 ones, you can do that. Um, Hurston's probably a good spot as well. I get a little lost there, so I don't go there. Uh, but again, I don't focus on the materials. But if you do have material like I've just gathered now, um, selling it's the next big thing. Other than that place you can go to is Grim Hex. So Grim Hex is another option, but it's going to be a little bit spicy there because they're, it's, a, I mean, it's a pirate haven. So, so yeah. Um, do your best to complete this mission over and over. That's the name of the game. Once you do that, you will stack up a fair amount of AUEC. And from that, again, focus on getting that reclaimer. I, I really asked myself, I really wanted to get the Carrick at the time. And I asked myself, do I want to just go ahead and get the Carrick or do I want to get this reclaimer first? Well, I'm glad I audit bold and got the reclaimer because I was able to get the Carrick pretty quickly. Like the next, I think it was like the next day after buying, uh, after saving up the 15 and plus it was cheaper. So um, getting that reclaimer right now is good, and it should be good for the rest of the patch, I suspect, because I don't suspect this will get patched. Um, you know, I'm using the word patch a lot there, but I, I suspect it won't be fixed or, or changed um, before the next patch, which I don't know if it's going to be 3.23, 3.23, but um, for now, again, the answer to this question is it still works, and it's a good way to make money. So um, if you can get a hold of a vulture, this is going to be a good way to make uh, pretty good ducats. And while well on your way of making buying more ships, um, me personally, I am um, I may see my money and captures here or there, but I'm at about a quarter billion <laughs> by just doing these salvaging missions. So again, I moved on the reclaimer, but it's a good way to make money and it's a good way to buy ships. And now that ships should be uh, fixed so that they stay in your inventory. And so I probably should make on videos. Um, I did start doing a guide, so I may put that out as well. Um, but I probably need to start doing reviews on ships because I've bought quite a few ships at this point. But yeah, let me know what you guys below, what you might want to see. Um, hopefully there's uh, this has been informative. I'll try to see if I can think of any other tips. I'll add it at the end here. But for now, I think this is a pretty good guide. I'll rewatch my guide actually to see if anything I need to add on the back end of this. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, thanks again for watching.